The Netherlands is a small country in Europe, next to Germany and Belgium. It has a surface of 41,500 kilometers and just over 17 million people live there, making it the most populated country in Europe. It's the country of cheese, tulips, kennels, windmills and much more. The Netherlands is big with tourists, mostly because of the big cities like Amsterdam and Rotterdam. When people hear Amsterdam, their minds go to the kennels, the many museums and... Okay, moving on. According to the numbers of 2019, the Netherlands receives about 20 million visitors a year. Now, since we're from the Netherlands, we've never really done any of the touristy things. So, we started digging and found 7 tourist things to do in the Netherlands. Of course, we have to start with Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands. Now, there's a lot to do in Amsterdam. Like, a lot. With a surface of over 200 kilometers and tons of tourist attractions, it was kind of hard to find something that really shows the most of Amsterdam. But after some googling and the help of the bucket list, we decided on going to the Amsterdam Lookout. Located on top of the Amsterdam Tower, we found the Lookout. Besides just visiting the tower and looking around at the gorgeous view, seriously, look at that. You could take a lot of fun pictures, enjoy a ride on the virtual reality roller coaster, and swing on Europe's highest swing on the edge of the sky deck. Yes, you heard that right. A hundred meters up in the air, swinging over the edge of a building. To be honest, this was probably the scariest thing we did for this video, but it was totally worth the sweaty hands and panic attacks. I can definitely recommend this to everyone who wants to learn a lot about the city and see everything without walking your feet off. If you want to see a real Dutch village, Volendam is the place to be. It has a beautiful harbor, fish and traditional costumes of the Netherlands. Me and my family went to Volendam to take pictures in these costumes. It was very fast but really fun. We got to dress up and hold props and felt like we were in a play. After undressing, we had to wait 30 minutes for the pictures. So we went to a cheese factory to kill time. We bought some cheese and walked somewhere. We saw a lot of boats and then it started to rain, which is the only way to get the full Dutch experience. Then we went to this memorial of an awful fire that occurred on New Year's 2001, where unfortunately 14 people lost their lives. After that we walked some more and called it a day. Something else that's very Dutch is eating raw herring with onions. We didn't get to eat it here because they were closed, but you should definitely try it. In our last video, where we visited all the provinces of the Netherlands, we went to Scheveningen. While we were there, we took a ride on the ferris wheel. This is perfect for when you want to see the whole beach, but don't want to walk all the way. Or if you do, but you just want to see it from above. In addition to the ferris wheel, it is of course also nice to just walk on the boulevard or lie on the beach. There is a lot of art on the boulevard and there are more than enough restaurants to enjoy a day at the beautiful beach. Oh, and if you can't manage to go to Volendam, there's also the possibility to eat fish on Scheveningen. Next up, we have the Three Country Point or Drie Landenpunt. This is a point in Limburg, the south of the Netherlands, which connects to the borders of Belgium and Germany. This is the perfect place for a walk to remember moment. You can be at two places, or three, at once. So the Drie Landenpunt itself is open 24 7, but besides the Drie Landenpunt itself, you can also play games, stay overnight, or take a walk around this point. There's a great view of Belgium, you can walk straight into the forest of Germany, and the road to the point is the Netherlands. I'd never been here before, but I can definitely say it's worth the drive. There's nothing more Dutch than windmills. There's more than a thousand working windmills in the Netherlands. We visited 19 of those in Kinderdijk. A village filled with windmills. About 300,000 people visit the windmills every year. Getting there was quite a journey. We had to park the car and take a bus to the windmills. But when we got there, it was just a short walk before you could see the windmills. Besides looking or visiting the windmills, it's also a nice walk. A lot of green and flowers. If you'd like to spend your day walking or biking, Kinderdijk is the place to be. If you want to learn more about history, you could visit the Hunnebedde or Dolmens according to Google. These gravestones were built in 4000 to 3000 before Christ. A lot of these dolmens are to be found in Drenthe. There's 52 in total, but we visited 3 of them. 
One of these three is the biggest dolmen standing in the Netherlands, and it's next to the Hunnebede Centrum, where they also have a museum. Now, beside the Netherlands, you can also find the dolmens in Denmark and Germany. If you want to learn more about these dolmens or anything from this era, make sure to Google it or visit one of the dolmens. Our next stop is Valkenburg. We visited this on the same day as the three country point. It's about a half hour drive to Valkenburg from the three landpunt. You can easily spend a full day here. We decided to visit the coal mine first. You start with the video and after the video you get a tour through the mine. Meanwhile, a guide will tell you about the history of the mine and he'll show you some things. This was a really fun experience. Unfortunately, it was too dark to film, so this is all I got. After the mine, we wanted to go to the cave in Valkenburg. When we got there, we found out that it closes at 3, so we didn't get to see it from the inside. Then we went looking for the castle ruin. This took us way too long. We kept on walking around and couldn't find the entrance. When we were about to give up, we saw the entrance. This was all on us though, it really isn't that hard. Anyway, the ruin is really big and there's a lot to see. We took some pictures and enjoyed the amazing view. It was almost as if we were in a Disney movie. And after that, we went out for dinner. 